Uh, I'd like to move down the agenda. It's time for uh, the council manager response to the comments. I'd like to do this in an orderly way. Which member of the council would like to talk at first if they have comments? Yes, Mayor. One thing I, I, I didn't, I didn't have, uh, I couldn't get this to uh, a position where I could read it earlier. But it, it, it's a statement about the whole council that I, I find happy offensive to me. I think you would too. Um, the, Perhaps that's not the. This is the point of this is a response to this, the comments, this is not about to civility. add. This is about civility. Yeah, this is a response to the comments, which you have. Sure. Talk for over six minutes, so. Sure. Development is possible for you real quick, and you can decide what you want to do with it. But development is inevitable, but it does not have to be higher density. But it will be because the council is bought and paid for by development. There's more to it than that. I find it really offensive. Um, okay. I don't, do I don't take any developer money. Uh, I don't know. Mrs. Farm, do you? you no. Mr. Walker, Ms. Pegram, Mayor, Ms. Laughlin, are you, are you bought and paid for by developers? I don't think so. Reason. If it is, it don't show up in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> Reason? Why am I answering you? This is your response. I'm, I'm this asking, is your I'm response. Asking, you're a hard answer. 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 you are a
the public meetings, January, February, but then in the, on February 9th, there was a text amendment, and it was to create the, uh, the there was a regular formal text amendment again to create the PD that was approved by the council at the time. The um, and the the uh, after the hearing, then um, then you adopted the UDO review committee, and the UDO committee also was looking at the PD. And um, I'm sorry that, um, I'm sorry Mr. Fulmer isn't here. The and zoning board has been working with this, but the PD is an active part. Don't say, <coughs> we don't know what's in it. There's a draft version from July 31st of this year. Um, anyone who's interested in the draft the version of yet. the UDO, this is our time. This is not for public comment or to argue with people. There is a draft ordinance for the UDO. It's over 400 pages. Anyone can contact the town clerk, to the town clerk, and you can be emailed an electronic copy. And it is in draft form for July 31st. And we've had a tremendous zoning board. They're still working on it, but there's a great deal. There's a, there's a great deal in there that still is, is uh, as a PD. Uh, the PD is actually the actual words were used. Um, it has master development plan, unified development, multi-use zoning, open space mixed use, and density bonuses for the developers. And it, there's good things in, in a, a PD, but it's also um, it's also for higher density. And of course, we have the town core overlay, which is two units to the acre of four is 625 um, acres. But these things are in. This is in the PD in, in many forms with the same criteria. It's definitely in the UDO. Please um, have, have uh, Mr. Peter send you an email copy. Take a look. There's uh, and I think it was and I think you see here the PD is, is not dead. It's quite the all the parameters. Plan development. There's always that all those things are planned. So plan we change the name, but it's the same criteria. It's mixed use. Excuse okay. me. This is the for the council. Well, I, what my my point the was, is not dead. my point was, if you listen to me, what I'm saying, the one that we motioned, that one, we laid that on the table, that one that we voted to, to listen to because that was what our planner and our attorney said we had to do to consider it. We were following what we were told by our planner and our attorney that we needed to do to consider it. That's why we motioned to do that. What and the, I don't want any further thing. That's my statement. So the, and I so want you to know, excuse me, I'm going to respond. What it, where one place where it is, is the uh, zoning board discussed the first PD was going to have a minimum of uh, 75 acres. Now in this draft development ordinance, and it's pretty far along, it's, um, not it's going to have only 50 acres. One of the zoning members said, well, if we have a 50 acre minimum, the, the whole town could be a PD, because, and um, okay. the other people agreed with the city. So it is still discussed as a PD. You can call it different names. It has all those different WPD. names, multi-use. But it's still there is a PD at uh, 7506 Summerfield yeah, Road. So there, but it is definitely in the document. I encourage everyone to read the document. Keep okay, in mind, right. keep in mind the the process uh, at this time. We were told there would be a. They want to have the completed document, and there's still there's still work to do on it. Um, hopefully, we'll see some revisions within the next month. There's an awful lot of work that has already been done on it. I do want to say that the zoning board is terrific. The very talented committee, they're working hard. But there's a lot in there for density bonuses, um, two to the acre. There's a lot of opportunity in there for two to the acre, and those are the very legitimate <coughs> things. And as far as the PD, it was approved by council members every step of the way. It wasn't really rejected because it's still in there now. We've never and opened the public hearing. Still in the we UK. can't reject it without a public <coughs> hearing. We never opened a public hearing to have an up or down vote on that. So the best thing we could do without raising the community all up in arms again over this was to table it and move on to the UDO, which is what we did. And, and that, was a, that was a very good that was a very good decision. There's no PD in the in the final draft of the UDO. Yeah, that I've seen. 
and, there, and it's 0.73 units per acre remains the same specification. That's that's all I've seen or, or heard today. I really, the developers when will I have see it, when the I see a finished product, I'll, I'll, I'll be very considerate and make sure that the public has the opportunity to weigh in on either side or in the middle, wherever they want. I will, I will make sure this is a transparent and public process. Because that's what this community deserves. There is, at, this point, to have. at this point, the, re, the public hearing mm. is, is not a place where you that's get not questions. A, no, you're right. It's not, it's not ample enough. I agree at with this you. Point, I know this is a shock. And but this I agree is, with you. At this point, point, <laughs> at this point we need more than one public is, hearing, folks. Well, we need, at this we need point, several here. We need several public hearings. The plan meetings at this point, about. which you have approved, your direction to the manager is to have one, and that was part of the motion, to have one public hearing with the zoning board, one public hearing yeah, yeah. with the council. No. When was that? False, man. Yeah. False. No, it's not. It's in, you did it in February 2017. False. So, what? Can, I, anyway, can I make a comment? No, let me just finish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good so, so, my, to be I want to have, I want to have several public open meetings with the public to debate, discuss, answer questions about any new unified development army. Uh, you have been the governing board for the last three years. For the last three years, you could have said, we're not going to have two units to the acre. You could have said for the last two years, the overriding, the overriding the court. And you know, you sat in the meeting and, 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 it, and when the zoning board accepted the work asking the elected officials to refrain from, from attending or publicly commenting on the process, and I've done that. So I have given them the autonomy to work within the community to come up with the best UDO for the community. And when I, when I, I hope that's what I see when it's complete. But if, before it gets to me, it's going to have an awful lot of public... The manager, the manager takes this direction from... Okay. Council, but it has been it has been the three of you for the last it has been the three of you for the last two years. We've got lots of we've got lots of emails out there. Okay. You, Grace, yes, and uh, yeah, the three of you have. There's emails where you're conducting business outside of the open meetings okay. app. But back to this, um, you have you gave this well, is the direction. We, we, we obviously don't get a chance to talk about it during the meeting because you say we can't talk till you're through. We're talking to you, Tom. I'm huh? afraid. <laughs> oh, Grace wants to talk. Let him talk if you're through. No, no. Yes. <laughs> so I keep hearing something that, that bothers me a little bit. We say PD. <coughs> PD this, PD that, PD this, PD that. And it is a scary term because it became a scary term. But what made it scary was the density behind it in 2016. Or the lack of, lack of specification. Or the lack of specification behind it. So if PD is in that document now, it is handcuffed to an overall density just like we have now. I know there are a few special areas, but I also want to point out the zoning board, you just said they're doing great work. Well, on one hand, we can't say they're doing great work, but they're bringing us a crummy document. I think they're following directions from the manager. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's, well, that's, that's just a blatant lie. That's just, that just that bugs me. That's just a lie. I want, I really encourage everyone, contact the clerk. He can send you an electronic copy. You can go through it for yourselves. And to say tonight it was said that we don't know what's in it. Well, actually, people that have looked at the 400 pages do know what's in it. And there's a lot of heavy density in there. Script. There's well, a there's like number here. What he what what he's been accused of doing. Well, you followed. You wanted we, them to follow the. Can he say it? Speak. Let him speak. Speak. Let him speak. Since this is not on the agenda, I'm going to say one thing, and that's all I want to say about it. We have a prescribed process that started with the UDO review committee, went to the zoning board, and it was intended to go to town council, and. The status of that is that it is in the zoning board's hands. It has not had a legal review. It is not ready. Their recommendation is not fully vetted and ready for the zoning board level public hearing. Um, I largely don't even attend these meetings. I'm certainly not uh, directing uh, uh, their actions. And uh, it, it's in process. And if we want to get ahead of it for the election 
that's for you to deal with, but I don't want any part of that, and do not describe it to me. And that's all I've got to say. You meet with the chair of something, and you, I was at a meeting where you're saying, you know, take from, yeah. the, from the committee. Where, where are you pulling so, that out of? Where are you pulling that out of? It was at the meetings. It was reported you and, you and Mr. Fulger had talked. Months and ago, it, yes. We occasionally meet as, yes, as okay. the zoning board chair and the manager. We occasionally have issues that, that aren't directly related to the UDO. They have other business. Uh, I have other business speaking with the plan, the planner, and the zoning board chair, uh, and our town attorney about process, and that's what we've done. Even they're still calling the PD. It has been <coughs> days. It's still next year's. One of the problems, one of the challenges with this, <coughs> if you have property rezoned next year, 50 acres is rezoned next year now. You, you will know what portion of that 50 acres is going to be commercial, what would be residential, maybe townhomes, whichever. You get a year at the at that public hearing for the rezoning, you're told what is going to be there. With mixed use, it's a sketch plan, and then the developer works with the town as far as which portion is going to have commercial or what portion is going to have. They work, then they work outside of the public process. We're going to have a technical review committee. It's a great idea. But at this point in the document, it's saying that the technical review committee will not see public. The citizens are not going to be involved. I would like to see more citizen involvement. I can show you exactly where it is. I can show you exactly where these things are in the document. But um, I was told that the dialogue wasn't going to be there. And um, they were talking it. Let them do their work, and then, and then let's open it up. So, so the other thing, if you supported the overall events, February 13, 2018, Teresa Pegram put forward a motion um, to comply with the request from over 2,000 citizens to put the recommendation for the overall, uh, the overall uh, low density of the, the 1.3 or the 0.73 greater to put that into the comp plan, an advisory document. It would only have been there in a recommending status and in a in a uh, in a in an advisory document. And we have two thousand people that want to maintain the overall low density. And unfortunately, um, Barnes O'Day and Walker voted no. Can I explain and I wish why I voted that you no? had done? I I have exactly what the motion was. Can I explain why I voted no? So you just got finished saying how here. important it was to have citizen involvement. And I believe that too. The comprehensive plan was probably the biggest document the towns ever put together, and it was full of citizen involvement. And off of one motion, you wanted the town council to change the people's document? That's no extremely way. inappropriate. No, 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 no. no. It wasn't no, changed. That's not what that was. Go back to the budget plan, and there was a process being there to, to amend the comprehensive plan. plan. Absolutely. But now let me tell you what there was no policy. It was asked to Bill Hill, how do we approach this? What's going to happen? There was nothing on it. All it was was a one line document. That was it. <coughs> and you wrote a check. There was no process on how this was going to be. And we sent it to the morning. We sent it to the zoning committee. Correct. Zoning and, and I went to that zoning meeting. I kept raising my hand because I was going to What did they say? And I was ignored. What did they say? I was ignored. What did they say? So, I know what they, they said. They, I was at that meeting and they kept <coughs> talking about this fifteen hundred dollar application fee. They were talking about the new UDO committees. They were going back and forth, back and forth. Two things. So they were trying to they didn't understand this because I wasn't able to speak. They said two things. One, specifications like density do not belong in the comprehensive plan in their it, opinion. Number two that the specifications belong in the uh, Can you show me the they, minutes from that meeting? And that's, I was sitting in that meeting. Oh, oh I'd like to see the minutes where you're, you're quoting something. I'm, I'm, I'm quoting exactly no. what they said, because I was sitting in that meeting. And, and, I re, and I remember distinctly what was said. And the second thing was they wanted to, they wanted to resolve the UDO. They felt that our ordinance was so out of date that we needed a UDO in place that was modern and up to date. That's what they wanted to focus on. Then they would take on the comprehensive plan. That's what they said at that meeting. But they did not do our request. 
I'm telling you that's what that's, that's the result. That was the result of your request of. with the zoning board. No. That's what they said. And you want to talk to the Dick Fulmer about it? He's is, the one that made the statement. The point is the statement could have been stronger to maintain the overall low density. We have to talk about overall low density. It's still those small homes. First, so it's first, just the overall. So first of all, Mayor, the, the but, current ordinance does not mean, allow any development about 0.73 units per acre. So the town currently is covered by by ordinance. There is no ability to build about 0.73 units per acre in our current in our current ordinance. There is not. It doesn't exist. So our town currently is covered. Our new UDO needs to protect the town in a similar manner. So that's where the specifications need to go. I that's, I agree with that. I also agree with Councilman Walker. We us elected officials should not be materially changing the comprehensive plan. That document belongs to the citizens. And I want citizens. To review it, and I want them to take their time just like they did the first time with it, and I want them to make sure that it now has evolved into a document that is that is referenceable to today's summer code. So that's I, I wholeheartedly will support that project. Okay, but you should look at the current document to see to see some of the things that we just a few of those things. At this point, and then the directions here. Um, <laughs> any other comments about? Um, in response to the public comments. May I, may I want to apologize for speaking a little more loudly than normal because this mic is off, so I'm making sure that people can hear. Um, I have one comment, and um, you know, we've talked a lot about the legal fees. I have I have some copies here if some of you are interested. Um, you know, I believe Judge Cromer issued, um, Judge Cromer in the, in the road truck case, the Board of Elections was um, April 17th, and the, um, his appeal was heard early May, and it was about May 12th, when Judge Cromer had an electronic decision to put a stay on the Board of Elections, and I think there was a lot of discussion that went on, and then on June 12th, um, on June 12th, is a signed order from uh, the Judge Cromer that um, to stay the decision of the Board of Elections and uh, no presented application for effect pending the conclusion. I have some copies of it here. And a further order um, to expedite the appeal process. If the town had complied with Judge Cromer's order, no, no, don't pass them out. I was going to pass them out. You don't have to do that. You take one for yourself, which you leave and see what the, um, if the town had complied with Judge Cromer's order, which came electronically in May, they fought about it for a month. The town knew that this was coming. If they had complied with Judge Cromer's order, which I think was our duty uh, for due process, the um, town would be seated, expedited appeal, and this would have been concluded much earlier, and the town would not have spent that money on a lawyer. And the town would later. not have spent the money on a lawyer if they later. had justified I'm, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. We'll, we'll wrap it up. We're talking about, about the legal bills. Wrap it it's up. It's $113,000 plus a bill. You all had a lot of legal time. I mentioned this to Bill Hill. I said the actions with the Board of Elections. Most of it was the town. But we've got this third party lawyer. Our checks are going to the state of South to Columbia, uh, South Carolina. This law firm, some we get these bills. <coughs> I, we really don't know what, how, who these 